In this video, we'll be talking about digital signature using RSA algorithm. So let's just take some example what uh, to understand what this digital signature is using the RSA algorithm. Let's say Elias applies for an insurance. Elias want to apply for an insurance. So this is an insurance document and Elias applies to the agent Bob. So Bob negotiate with the Elias. So they do the negotiation with this insurance document and Bob make a final version of insurance document, this one. Now there are two ways, either Bob send this document to Elias by post. So Bob want to send this final document to Elias by post, but this will take cost and this involves a lot of time or it can be sent through digital message that is email. So Bob want to send this document that is the final document and it will save the cost and time. Now here they want to also ensure the security and Bob also want that Elias should sign this document and then give back to the Bob. So this is the basic setup how to ensure that Bob has received a document which is signed by Elias. So that authentication is what we call it as digital signature. So now let's look at that uh, mathematically. Let the document we call it as M. We are just calling the document here in our case. This is the insurance policy. And just as we have done in the RSA setup, Elias chooses two large primes. So Elias chooses P and Elias chooses Q and then finally calculate and that is PQ and then Elias chooses E which is the encryption key but again the setup of the encryption key is that the GCD of E and phi n this is equal to 1 so of course we can say that E lies between 1 and phi n. Next she apply the extended Euclidean algorithm to find D such that the G such that E and D their product is congruent to 1 mod phi n. So now Elias have certain information which is public. So she publishes n and e. So this is the public information and she have this information as private which is p, q and d. Now after reading the document m or in our case we have considered this as insurance policy, Elias creates signature as s which is congruent to m to the power d mod n so because elias is trying elias already have the access of now the document that is m which she want to sign and she already have this private information with d because she has this setup which she made so d is available so she created s now this s is communicated to bob so bob received Bob received the original document that is M and Bob also received the S which is the signature. So to know that Elias sent the same document what Bob did Bob calculated S to the power E which is congruent to M D whole raised to power E that is congruent to M E D this is congruent to M mod N and from here now you can see this is exactly the same process what we did in RSA but in the reverse order. So let's just see uh, this process in this example. Elias has public RSA model as this and the public key E equal to 5. She want to sign the document M equal to 7. So what is this signed document? So that means they want to know what is M and S. So obviously M is uh, already given but basically we want to know what is the signature. So for the signature let's look at the public information n is 91 and e is 5 so we must need to know what is d d is we can calculate from ed that is congruent to 1 mod phi of n so uh, e is 5 5 into d that is congruent to 1 mod 6 into 12 that is 72 from here we can use extended euclidean algorithm to calculate d equal to 29 so d is 29 and then s which is signature this is calculated as m to the power d that is congruent to 7 raised to power 29 we use the exponents to reduce this uh, large power that becomes 63 mod 91 so which means the signed document will have the value m and s so signed document is m and s m is a 7 and s is 63 so this is the answer to our first problem now we want to know bob calculation shows that it verifies the same document that means 
we should know that bob should know that original document was 7 so for the bob we will calculate s to the power e which is congruent to 63 to the power 5 this again when we reduce we get it as 7 mod 91 so we can see that s to the power e is we should get this quantity as m and here we got m equal to 7 so m equal to 7 ensure that the signature is valid signature is valid so this simple process explain the concept of digital signature